This video is brought to you by Squarespace. It is 5 a.m. This was just sitting on the edge of a table for 20 bucks, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Xbox 360. Let's get it to start the day. Should we hunt Ricky? To the game! Imagine the quality we'd have if you were Cameron Ricky. <laughs> Guess that deck. Okay, I'm gonna say it's element. I'm guessing element. What? It's. I can't see. I don't, even I don't know. know. Bones Brigade. I'm gonna. I don't. This one has a little logo. I'm gonna say enjoy. enjoy. It looks happy go lucky and enjoy. I don't even know. Great. Great. Look how cool this is. A Coca Cola hot and spicy bag. This is. Is it an actual cooler, Ricky? Check the cooler with your culo. Oh, yeah. It's yep. a cooler. Yeah, I might have to ask about that. Ooh, just a ton of funky looking slammers, too. <gasps> bite, 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 bite. Oh, look, Ricky. Beep, 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 boom, beep. Something that I that I didn't think would be this cool, but it is cool. Imagine this in your game room. Dispensers, like when people come over, give them dispensers to like, you know, have some fun. You want to enter my game room? Well, here's a prize. I hope I win. So I'm picking up, look at he threw in a hat just because he's a kind gentleman over there, but I am getting the Coke bag of Coke bags. Let's go. It's almost like a, a fanny pack for your neck. All right, Ricky, show me something cool with my new fancy necklace on, by the way. You like it? Oh, dude, it's beautiful. Ricky, I bought a, a Reefo hat. Ready? You know the drill. First thing in the morning, he's heating up. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was scary. I was like, my hat. How much is the mini? 75. How about the Wii? 75. Okay. I mean, if you told me to pick two 80s movies, I would think right here to go to the Back to the Future series and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Look at that, it's like the most, I love it. It's just so pretty. No way. He actually has really good prices on his VHS, just a couple bucks each. So the Crow, Close Encounters, Bill and Ted's, gonna get this as well. And also still poking around here. Oh wow, look at that. Just sticking out like a sore thumb. We got Robocop. Guy, I'll never get over how beautiful that looks. Okay, what else we got in here? What else? We got Clint Eastwood, we got Du, 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 du. What's this? Die Hard? Ooh, Die Hard. Oh, T2. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Here's my VHS selection again. Top Gun right here. Highway to the Ricky Zone. Total Recall. Star Wars Trilogy. And Terminator 2. Robocop. Back to the Future. Bill and Ted's Close Encounters. And The Crow. <laughs> All right, so I feel good about that. This is like a, a dream 80s, 90s collection right here. I'm freaking stoked about all these VHSs. It's legit. Oh, and 20 bucks for all of them. Ricky, show me what you just bought, bro. So I got some Jeff Gordon. Ooh, Jeff Gordon. Ooh, wait, I like the color on this one already. And then this is a Harley. Oh, that's a good looking Harley shirt. Oh, what? <laughs> Ricky, those bongos you have to buy, but you also have to bust me a sick beat real quick though, bro. Here, I'll hold them for you, bro. Right. Let me hear your fattest beat, bro. Look at your shirt. You have to buy them, Ricky. It's like, come on, bro. <laughs> Look at this, some old art fantasy catalogs from 1991. Cheetah of Alizar by Frank Thorne. My, oh, mama. There's a whole bunch of cool art stuff. This is, by the way, the amazing booth that has continually found us really cool animation stuff. As you can see, it's all around this kind of stuff. Ooh, heavy metal. That's actually dope, these heavy metal ones. I might look into getting these ones, actually. Very cool, maybe I can find a couple more of them. Detective, Batman Comics, what else we got here? What else we got? Reading the Funnies, hey, you know? Ernie, er, no, Evil Ernie, oh, a whole bunch of those, the same prints, oh, Lady Death, oh gosh. I have to spend more money, I love buying too much stuff. All right, I'm gonna buy half of this stuff, I'll be back. All right, so how we keep finding stuff in this film animation studio kind of booth at the Shutdown Animation Studio, which we've talked about a hundred times at this point. See, here's the kind of stuff that keeps popping up. We're like in the leftover stage of stuff. Like this is filmation for Magic Numbers, Frady Cat, number 16, script and storyboard. What was that? A couple cells over there still lying, ling lingering around. But I think he said we just missed. Someone had, um, he had some He-Man stuff and we missed it. We walked away. And uh, ooh, look at this. Oh, I love it. So clearly I'm not gonna show you guys all this one by one, but I know there is value in this stuff. I'm not gonna look at it, it's not my jam, but I know there, my buddy has made some serious value on this stuff. 
So as I was saying that, my buddy just walked up and said, the Marge Simpson one is the one you want to look for because apparently that one's super valuable. Look at all this good VHS right here. My goodness, there's so many pretty ones. D3 right there, good one. Good cover on All Dogs Go to Heaven too, by the way, underrated. Christmas is coming up. I heard you over there. What, what, what? I got you. A true American hero. Oh yeah, a real chin. I love that, bro. Pokemon. Oh, you pinned it. Yeah, look at this hat, bro. This hat's sick right here. I love this hat, actually. It's just a casino hat, but yeah, I love this one right here. All right, Ricky, I yep. curated VHSs that I thought you would be cool. Ready? Okay. So we got Kazam. That's a great one. Goosebumps. Ooh, good one. Power Rangers. That's actually a really good one. Power Rangers movie. All right. This one was more for me, sorry. All Dogs Christmas Carol and Ooh. Pokemon. Got a Ricky Amal. In a world we must defend. All right, so as we were here looking, one of the guys was like, hey, if you find one of those Playboys with Donald Trump, they're pretty valuable. Two seconds later, Ricky finds this one. By the way, look what's on the back. <laughs> so not, not by any means am I into Star Trek, but this is super cool. The USS Enterprise with some of the characters in there. Spockalicious in there. It's just so beautiful and, and pretty, colorful. Ben just saw a power pad just sitting there on the edge of the table. Might have to pick that up. Ben, ben that is a, you never realize how big those are until you open them up. My yep. goodness. Well, 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 what do we have? A bunch of Marlboro bags right here. Mine, mine, mine. So the booth we're digging at now, I've already bought all the stuff that I showed you guys that I said I was gonna buy like a bunch of VHS tapes, Marlboro stuff, but also they have a ton more good stuff they're pulling out. So we'll probably dig here for a little while. Y'all, important cut in. I know we're at the swap meet right now, but you guys have to check this out. So from the animation studio that we've been buying a ton of, ton of stuff, a ton of stuff, there is a few more nuggets that we found last weekend when you guys weren't around. This is the one everybody's gotta check out first, Curtis. Let's show them. Sonic the friggin' Hedgehog prop designs from 1993. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's Robotnik. It's part of Robotnik. It's some of Robotis. So they try to scale them in. Oh, it's the skit, bro. You are friggin' smart, bro. You are smart and handsome with that haircut. Look at this, Poppy Sonic. Papa, Papa. Go check out my new channel, Pixel Plus. It's basically this channel, but showing you guys everything in full detail so we didn't have to fight the algorithm. Look at this Wildcats one. Oh my God, it's the same type of thing. And there's like good colorations on this one. You can see the actual full pencil mark in there. Cadillacs and dinosaurs, which Ricky did previously get. So I might have to just sell this one back to Ricky so he can complete it. Oh my gosh, ooh la la, Magushka, Mabushka. I know not a lot of people might not care about Inspector Gadget, the cartoon series, but man, it's great. If you look at it, what this one is, is it's basically like all his, was it was his animations. There's like his driving, oh, it was like his gadget tools. It's like basically the book shows you his different gadget tools. All right, we'll get back to game hunting, but besides going to Pixel Plus, you guys make sure, Curtis told me I need to try to get us to 100,000 subscribers. Candy, man. Hit that like and subscribe button, hit the post notifications so you know. Dang, bro, I need to hire you out for this kind of stuff. <laughs> but again, awesome finds. Curtis is the one who helped me out on finding these ones while I was in Florida. You guys go check out Pixel Plus as well to see it all. That's it. Thank you, back to game hunting. Look, and I came back over to the booth and they made a whole nother stack of VHSs that I want to check out. But I just got a tip that there might be some good stuff coming at that booth that I might have to get. So I might have to put this place on pause for a minute to go over there. All right, Blakey boy, Blakey boy, what we got going over here, bro? I see you from a mile away. He's getting them Chimpoko Mons already. Dang, how much do you want each? Just grab a lot, bro. I don't even think. You know how to hunt, bro. I know. I just have like all of them. How much for the lot? I'll take it right now. Let's see. <laughs> No, he has a box Super Nintendo he's gonna hold for me, he said in there. Oh, yeah. I was like, hey bro, hold it for me. <laughs> he has a Tupac VHS too. Ooh -hoo -hoo! All the Atari games are here. Mousetrap, Berserk, Superman, Space Jockey, and apparently a board game. <laughs> <laughs> box Super Nintendo, blind buy, 100 bucks? Yes, sir. Okay, we're in. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, just like that. This is actually a little better condition than I was thinking. Just bought this from Dusty. Super Nintendo Super Set includes, I doubt this one actually includes it, but I can definitely feel there is a console in there. And I don't hear things bouncing around too much, so I'm guessing that it has some sort of form of cardboard in there or styrofoam. So let's take a peek. There we go, just open it from the dust ball over here, the dust master. It's got two controllers, this can be cleaned. Dusty, thank you my G. You're a bro, you're like the real life skinny Santa Claus right now. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you.
I shouldn't think this is as cool as it is, but this looks awesome. Old Disney magic, like Disney Kingdom. When you were a kid, remember how big you thought this place was? I remember going as a kid and being like, this is like a world, like a kingdom. And then as an adult, I was like, oh, it's still cool, but it's like, yeah. a, like almost like a statue building. It's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's still cool. But man, Ricky, the good days of Disney, bro. I still remember walking through here, bro. Oh, dude, me too. I love it. Mr. Benjamin, what'd you just pick up? Got Mario Party 8 for the Wii. But where's Mario Party 9? I just, they didn't have it for sale, ben, unfortunately. Ben, you are not a true Mario Party enthusiast. How much are the games? About 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Mario Party Sluggers, Mario Party 8. Benjamin, come here, sir, check this out. So, at the last booth, we got Mario Kart 8. Mario Super Sluggers, great freaking game. One of the best games ever right there. And then Ricky grabbed these and he didn't realize, oopsie daisy, like Mario is in here, which is probably kind of a taking an L, but to make things better, check what was in this one. Look at this. Look at this. Pokemon Sapphire, which what was supposed to be <laughs> Batman Beyond Gotham. But Ricky, if I make it under my leg in there, you can come up. Oh shoot. Oh wait, I didn't want you to make it in. <laughs> Ricky just came across the Hoff. Tell me you're gonna buy that. I'm gonna let you buy it. What? Gotta have, gotta have my Hoff. I know you want him. Okay, I'll take him. You freaking son of a gun. If you saw our last video, we were talking about how he told me this was so rare and worth like well over $400. And then Blake found it in front of me for a dollar and bought it. And then he found it again. How much was it? Five bucks. I love you. You know I love you. You know I love you, right? But I also hate you. Big trouble in little China. Ricky, that's cool. What I wanted to do, because Ricky bought the uh, Donald Trump Playboy, I wanted to hold, hold it up and go, big trouble in little China. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to play a little game right here, Ben and Ricky. Yeah. You're going to have to pick one VHS that describes you or your life. We'll come back with what we find. One eternity later. And we're back. Ricky, what, which movie describes you? Let's hear it. Let's see. Since I always get picked on. Putty bam. Unlawful and Ricky, that, that's, is that how you entered the country? Ben, which describes you? Are you ready? Yes. The perfect guy, oh, wow. No. <laughs> well, I went with something a little more serious, straight out of Compton, because I literally work in Compton every day of my life. But check this out, y'all. I picked this up because I thought it looked cool, and I was like, dude, I've never seen this. So I, I'm not gonna lie, I've never heard of it, but I love the Fox Kids on it, and the Elvira right there. And I looked it up, and it sells for like 25 to 30 bucks, and even the, some of the ones listed right now are like 80. Do I like Training Day? Yes, I, I like Training Day. I thought it was okay. Day. I mean, it was, oh. I don't know. Because Ricky has, loves it so much, he has it tattooed on his Stop. chest. So what are the odds that I just found another one of these, which hold good value. But look at this. These were sitting right here too, from Alien. I don't think Ricky even saw these. The face hugger. <laughs> Yo. All right, I got to check these out here. Here I go. I'm going to get three of them for 20 bucks. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here we go. There's Benjamin. Here you go, sir. Thank you. I'll take them all, like you said. So thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Have a good one. So I did buy the Aliano. I bought Mr. Hasselhoff again, and I got this face hugger. But to be honest, I don't even want it. How much are the games? Two hundred. Ten dollars each. All right, let me check it out. All right, so I bought that Thai three game, not knowing anything about it other than it was Thai. It was ten bucks, and it was sealed. And I was like, I don't know. It's probably fun. I played some of the Thai games, but then Ben was like, Yo, um, that one was a sealed copy. Sold uh, listing. Sold listing. Right bucks. there, ninety bucks. Oh my gosh! I'm a millionaire. Lunch on me, boys. <laughs> oh boy, Ricky's. Look at these are literally for sale. Oh gosh, that's hard to not buy them. That is hard to not buy these little cuties. Oh my goodness. Commodore, oh a whole setup. Look at all this Commodore. Dude. All right, uh, so we asking how much for all this? How much Commodore Vic 20, we got the drives. Oh, Commodore. Oh, wow. This stuff. What's that? They just took it out. Oh, nice. Okay. Any idea? Oh, I like yeah, dude. Beautiful. Hmm? No, no, it's some. All those viejitos. 
Expose themselves, yeah. Yo, Riff, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what's going on right now. How much? 200. 200? I don't know. I, I don't he, know. he probably knows better than us. He can kind of... So the reason Ricky's over here even tantalizing the idea is he did recently find the Commodore TV, so he thinks it'd be sick. And we're kind of finding, like, piecing things together over here, too. So we'll see as it comes by. Ricky. Oh, no. There's not enough give. Try it, Ricky. Come on. What, it's gonna hit the ground? No, look. He's gonna I'm hit not the ground. I'm, it's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> By the way, if you didn't notice, it was really hot, so I had to put on the shirt Ricky bought earlier. Now he's giving it to me. Thanks, Ricky. Thank you for giving me the shirt, bro. I appreciate it. Ben, what'd you get, bro? We got the PS3 Slim. Ooh, baby, how much? It was 40 bucks with controllers. It does not appear to be open, so... It, it looks pretty clean, too. Yeah, I think you have a good chance of not being scammed, bro. I think so, here. There was a time where I spent most of my days playing the bass at the House of Blues, doing live shows. That was my life for a long time. We got a little... Oh, I thought it was a fanny pack, it's not. Can Ricky make the get? Oh, Ricky, don't let my Super Nintendo get damaged. Oh no, Ricky, no. Can Ricky make it through the wilderness without anything? Oh gosh, my Super Nintendo, oh Ricky. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform for which to create your website. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated, members-only content. Manage members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights. All in one easy-to-use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items all across the globe. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixelgamesquad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. It actually means a lot to small creators like myself. And it's a windy day now. Bye! for my son!